hello and welcome down to a beautifully sunny Portugal. I am at the Tivoli and the Marina and the Algarve. There's the uh, Marina and I'm in the uh, Tivoli. And I'm here for an overseas pro-am, one of the biggest in Europe. And I just thought I'd take this opportunity to show you a little bit around this area, which is, I love it around here, especially when the sun's out. It wasn't out earlier in the week. I'm trying to abandon it. There's nothing wrong with it. Ah, it's it's perfect out there. Strange episode in many respects because the pro-am is almost finished. So today is the last day, but that was the subject of my quest for the open vlog. But in this vlog, we're going to be... <laughs> We're going to be doing the golden shot. Now, the golden shot during the pro-am, there was a nearest the pin comp on about four, or four, well, six, quite a few of the par threes anyway. And I've managed to get one of the closest to pins, which puts me in the golden shot. So what that does, it puts me into a pool of players who get one shot, one shot at a chance of bagging some mega money. But I'll explain a little bit more about that when we get to the course. So we're down on the first at the south course and the golden shot. Everyone who's got nearest to pin in the competitions throughout the three days, they've got one shot to win a lot of money. For the pros, it's a thousand. Last man standing, Brian Connor, one shot. You only gotta get inside about 24. Just imagine the pressure though, guys. Get into the comments below. How do you think you deal with all these guys on the team? And then everyone behind the room as well. Yeah, I'll go and get it, yeah. Oh, Andy, congrats, mate. Cheers, pal. Delighted for you, fam. Cheers. <laughs> what did you actually hit then? Did you hit a wedge? Pitching wedge, yeah. yeah. Back foot, shaking, few beers. Whoa. Yeah, yeah. I, I can't say I was actually feeling my hands much when I hit that. Oh, no. Professional champion this year, minus 15, 105 points. Picking up a cool two and a half thousand pounds first prize. Very, very well done to Mr. Graham Cox. <laughs> Um, finally, you'll, you'll say thanks. My team has might gone a little bit. Um, Malcolm, what a guy. I'm so sorry. Sorry about your arm, mate. We're on the first team, Larangel, first day, and Malcolm's over to me. He says, Graham, Graham, I'm playing so well. I have 39 points. I have 39 points. I can't wait for this. So we're on the third team. He's gone blob, blob. <laughs> <laughs> So the guy had paid on the floor to hit him. <laughs> of course then we had a standing uh, Lee Williams, my ears are bleeding, if anyone knows it. <laughs> he said to me going down the Thursday, he said, I'm on a buggy on my own, I don't know why. I said, well, I do. <laughs> The 
first little stop of the day, a village called Alta or Alti? Alta? Even though it is the middle of winter, this is where everyone gathers around these kind of natural fonts, these natural fountains. Portuguese king. He's compensating for something. This is what I need at my in my back garden, Philip. This communal oven. Well, I'll set that time lapse up. It's bloody cold up here, Philip. have to remember even though it's Portugal even though the weather here is normally lovely it is still January and we're on top of a thousand meter mountain <laughs> it's pretty freezing like <laughs> how would you pronounce that Parisi da Montaigne mountains paradise mountains paradise exactly okay well you you've raised my hopes view from this restaurant as well just imagine being here sunshine a couple of beers look at that chicken I've just had in there which is awesome oh, I think I might stay here actually Philippe I think I'm gonna stay here is that okay I just think relax a couple of yeah I'm just gonna stay great yeah. I'll get a crate first <coughs> he's the bonniest boy isn't he? thank you dear Pause me um, I'm not smiling it's acceptable it's story of the week isn't it yeah yeah my ear, right then talk to me this week Right, this is the first time you've been out here, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. first time for us. Have you, been, have you found it? I know we didn't play the best golf in the world, we didn't come out with any prizes, but yeah. have you found it? No, we played. We come third. Oh, that's right. Oh, yeah, that reminds me. I've still got the sweep in my pocket. Don't worry about that. Yeah, no, I've enjoyed it all week. It's been, apart from the first day where the weather wasn't too great. Don't know what but, you're talking about. <laughs> torrential weather in Portugal. Um, but other than that, though, no, played. It's like to play, play a bit of golf second day and. Just the, the event's fantastic in it, the way it's run, and obviously your company as well has been fantastic this week. And I'm not, I'm not asked him to say it, but it's, it's well appreciated. But you, you're unlucky. You'll, you'll get your cut this week. Yeah, you're unlucky yeah. this week. You could have uh, that second day, especially, could have been a nine under that easily. With a few yeah. putts going in, and but we all suffered a little bit like that, didn't we? Yeah. Some golf could have been better. I'll be honest. It's sick of me watching you two play. <laughs> <laughs> Birded the 18th, mate. Were you? Hey, listen, that, I think that's Back the highlight of the week. Birdies. Steve, you just need to be a bit more positive. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a few birdies, a few more birdies, I'll be okay. Yeah. <laughs> Two more gins. A few more Bring gins. Le yeah. Less beer, more yeah. birdies. Okay, back home, I'm actually staying at my parents' home, my original home, where I grew up home, it's home. But just reflecting on what was an amazing trip as the sun burst through the clouds here. Oh, my have for two seconds. It was such an amazing trip and it was so well organized. Holidays for golfers who got me over there. I got a bit more of an insight into what it takes to organize a trip like this. And it's a lot more than I ever really imagined. I mean, I am not good at organizing things anyway, but to the level of organization that they did to all the problems I had to overcome, we canceled flights and stuff like that. It's just, it was very, very eye-opening. And to see everyone over there have such an amazing time, it was, it was great. It was just a great atmosphere to be around. Oh, a golden shot though. It was one of those things where it went behind the pin and spun back quite a lot. Whereas Andy, who won Andy Palmer, he hit his to the right and kind of stunned it a bit. And that was level with the pin. Mine looked closer, but it was further away. It's so annoying when that happens. <laughs> Everyone's hit that shot where they're looking at it. They're like, oh my God, that's in, that's in. They get up there, it's like 20 foot short. But guys, thank you so much for watching. Big thank you again to Holidays for Golfers for getting me over. The sun's really bright. And if you are new to the channel, hit that subscribe button, that like button. Follow me on my other social media platforms as well. And we'll see you down here next time. Portugal. Sunning myself. It's a bit bright.